Hi there, this is Chris Tepnick at Moto Legends. Today I'm going to be talking about what we call a proper adventure jacket from the Finnish brand Rucker. It's a jacket called the Trek R. And if you like what you hear, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Maybe here at Moto Legends we can be a bit black and white about things. We can be a bit purist, I suppose. Perhaps it's our desire to cut through all the nonsense, to cut out all the noise, and to explain to people what kind of gear they need and what kind of gear they don't need. And sometimes we can get a bit aerated when people start to bang on about adventure suits. Now, an adventure bike really is the Swiss Army knife of motorcycles. You can do pretty much anything on a modern adventure bike, even though BMW itself acknowledges that 99% of GS owners will never stray from metal surfaces. The problem is, perhaps, that the adventure bike has become a bit of a fashion statement. Even though very few people ever go off-road on an adventure bike, everybody wants that bike to be equipped with knobbly tyres, they want extra spotlights, aluminium panniers, boots with clips, and importantly, of course, a helmet with a peak on, presumably for those evenings when the sun is setting really low over the Waitrose car park. And of course, many of these folk will want what they call an adventure suit. But there's a huge difference between what most people think of as an adventure suit and what we think of as an adventure suit. For most people, an adventure suit is really just a stylized commuting and touring suit. It will sit perhaps a little bit longer. It will have a center belt here at the waist. You'll have external flat pockets and large vents. And these jackets will come in a huge array of colors that you might imagine you want to be rescued in if you were crossing the Serengeti. And so most adventure suits will come with a fixed waterproof membrane in order to keep you warm, but also to keep you dry. Now, sometimes that membrane will be a traditional drop liner membrane. More classically, an adventure suit or a so-called adventure suit will come with a laminated membrane. And that's because of the much talked about benefits of direct to body venting. Now, lots of manufacturers make such suits and they're very popular with adventure bike riders, but no suit with a fixed membrane would meet our definition of an adventure suit. And that's because on a real adventure, somewhere hot, somewhere inhospitable, the last thing you want is a membrane anywhere near your body. The issue is that a membrane will impede the sweating process and will cause you to overheat. And that's because sweating is the body's natural mechanism for cooling itself down. To stay cool when you're working hard or getting hot on the bike, you need to be wearing something highly breathable. And that's why in our world, a proper adventure suit will have either no membrane or a membrane that can be taken out or removed. Now the Finnish brand Rucker has in its range a laminated adventure suit. It's called the Explore R. And heck, even its name might cause you to think that it's ripe for an expedition, but it's not really. It's a great suit, but it's gonna be more at home, it has to be said on the Marina Bone Road than on the Road of Bones. Rucker does, however, have what we call a proper adventure suit in its range. It's called the Trek R, and that's the suit we're going to be talking about now. The Trek R comes with a removable waterproof inner jacket, but it's not just any old waterproof jacket, it's a Gore-Tex one. And as everybody knows, Gore-Tex makes the best membranes. But what makes the waterproof inner jacket in the Trek R so special is that it contains stretch. So you can wear it on the inside of the jacket or you can wear it on the outside. We'll come back and discuss that in a bit more detail later. The Cordura outer of the Trekar is a reasonably lightweight 500 denier material. And that's good because if you're climbing up through the ravine as the sun beats down on your back, you don't want to be weighed down by a heavy and cumbersome load. But the jacket is reinforced on the shoulders and the elbows with extra layers of 1500 denier Cordura, so a much tougher and heavier weight of material. And it's this that allows the jacket to achieve a AA rating under EN17092. And it has to be said that that's not unimpressive for a proper lightweight adventure jacket. The jacket also comes fitted, of course, with Rucker's huge bespoke D30 Level 2 armor. It's this that serves to make the jacket not only one of the most protective jackets you can wear from an impact protection perspective, but also from an abrasion standpoint. When a membrane is removed from a jacket, it will breathe much better, but such a jacket will become even more breathable if it's got vents. And the Trek R is equipped with plenty of vents. So you get these vents here on the shoulders, you get here at the side of the chest, here at the waist, here on the biceps, here all the way up and down the forearms, and 
up and down the flanks, which is a common position for Rucker. Rucker really like these vents that run up and down the flanks. You also get vents at the back of the jacket and they will obviously act as exhaust vents. There aren't many jackets out there that are better vented than the Trek R. No two ways about it. About it, The Trek R will look after you. It's gonna protect you in the heat, but it will also protect you, as we've discussed, if you come off the bike. In some ways, the Trek R could be considered the most complete adventure jacket of them all. Of course, as this is an adventure jacket, it comes with all the bells and whistles. So you get lots of pockets. You get these two lower flat pockets that are also protected with zips. You get these two upper chest pockets. There's a small pocket here on the left sleeve, and there's a large map pocket on the back of the jacket. As is customary on a rocker jacket, you get this pop it adjuster system on the arm. So you've got one here on the bicep, one on the forearm. And the idea is that will allow, allow you to adjust the volume in the sleeve. So if you've got winter gear on, if you've got a liner underneath, you might let the volume out. You might create more volume in the summer when you're not wearing much underneath, you tighten it up. There's an adjustable belt here at the waist and that does pretty much the same thing, but for the body. So if you've got liners in, if you're wearing a duvet jacket or a down jacket, you'd let it out in the summer. You'd pull it in, you'd tighten it so it doesn't flap as you're riding along. There's a system for tightening the hem of the jacket. So you've got a Velcro flap, but you can also use the zips that form part of the flank, the vents that run up the flanks, and that will enable the jacket to splay a little bit when you sit on, on the bike. At the end of the sleeves, you've got Velcro flaps, but you can also use the vent zips to open up the sleeves. So you can get any kind of sleeve, you can get any kind of glove cuff in there if you wanted. Not of course that you're often gonna be wearing a winter glove with a suit like this. The jacket has a crotch strap for when you are wanting to secure the jacket in place, but you're not wearing a rucker pant. There's a full length zip, obviously, for when you are. There's lots of 3M Scots light material, reflective material in evidence on the suit, and there's neoprene in the collar. Again, another rucker trademark. The idea is that when it rains, that will catch the rain, it will stop it running into the jacket. It's also nice and comfortable against the neck. Of course, it's the removable membrane with this jacket that is the star of the show. Now here at Motor Legends, we have long been fans of a system that sees the waterproof being worn on the outside of a motorcycle jacket. This is in every way, the logical place to wear a waterproof layer. And when you do this, you create a waterproofing solution that's actually better, it's actually superior to a laminated jacket. Now, with the Trek R, you're probably gonna leave the waterproof liner on the inside of the jacket if you're just riding around in slightly cooler conditions or in light rain. If you're going somewhere really hot, you're gonna remove the membrane completely. In prolonged heavy rain, you'd wear the Gore-Tex liner on the outside of the jacket. The result is a jacket that's gonna be as versatile as any jacket you've ever come across. The Trek R pant pretty much mirrors the jacket in terms of its construction and use of fabrics, as you might expect. So you get a removable Gore-Tex waterproof liner. You get the same 1500 denier, fairly lightweight Cordura chassis, and you get the same 1500 denier overlay. So that's a stronger weight of material. You get 1500 denier overlays on the knees and the hips for a little bit of added abrasion resistance. And that's enough to earn the pant as it was with the jacket, it's enough to earn the pant a AA rating under EN 17092. Now, throw in the huge level two protectors that are made by D3O specifically for Rucker, and you've got yourself a riding trouser, trouser that's a match for just about anything else on the market in terms of protection. In the seat of the pant, you get Rucker's air cushion system, which they have in a lot of their trousers. It's a network, it's a series of uncrushable 3D piping that runs through the seat. And the idea is it makes the pant a little bit more comfortable when you're on the saddle, but it also aids breathability. You've got leather panels on the pant that run up and down the legs. That's partly to prevent or to protect you from the heat of an exhaust if you've got a high rise exhaust, but they'll also give you better purchase on the tank if you're stood up on the pegs. You also get leather in the seat and the aim of that is to stop you sliding around on the saddle. You get concertina stretch above the knees here, you get it at the back, just below the waistline, and they're there to increase comfort, as indeed are stretch panels that you get in the crotch, down the inside of the legs, and behind the knees. As with the jacket, there's a removable Gore-Tex waterproof liner that has built-in stretch, and because of that stretch, it can, as with the jacket, be worn on the outside or on the inside. You get vents front and back on the thighs here, you get two front pockets and you get two larger 
I suppose you'd call them cargo pockets on the thighs. There's an adjustable belt at the waist, although personally we would recommend going for Rucker's defense braces, which do not come as standard. And we'd recommend going for them because with the larger, heavier armor, the pants are going to have a propensity, I think, to drop down if you're off the bike, that is, if you're not zipped into the jacket. There is, of course, a connecting zip, so you can connect into a Rucker trouser. At the end of the legs, you've got these long zips here that are going to allow them, allow the bottom of the leg to go over even the largest off-road boots. Importantly, the pant comes in two leg lengths. In fact, technically, they come in three leg lengths, but the importer is only going to bring two of them into the country, the regular and the short. And that's partly because a rucker long leg is incredibly long, but also because on an off-road bike where you're normally going to be wearing a slightly taller boot, or nearly always going to be wearing a slightly taller boot, you can get away with perhaps a slightly shorter leg. When we're talking about off-road gear or adventure gear, Rucker is not always the first name that comes to mind, and that we understand. Rucker is first and foremost, I suppose, a touring and commuting brand. It's aimed at those who ride through the coldest and wettest of conditions. But Rucker knows how to make motorcycle gear that works. It almost invariably fits the way it should. The company uses the best components, and they build it properly. 20-year-old Rucker suits, for example, are certainly not unheard of their outfits tend to work. And of course, at six years, Rucker comes with one of the best warranties in the industry, all of which causes us to think that Rucker deserves to be taken more seriously in this particular market. In fact, for serious adventure riders, as opposed to those who want to look like serious adventure riders, we cannot think of a better suit. The Trek R has it all. It's comfortable, it's incredibly well vented, it comes with the very best Gore-Tex waterproof liner. It's probably one of the most protective proper adventure suits on the market, and it comes with all the bells and whistles you'll ever need. The only suit that I think might be considered in the same league from a technical standpoint would be the Held Crazy Evo. That suit actually has some features that the Trek R doesn't. The Trek R, it's got to be said, is probably more robust, and with its huge level 2 armour, I would imagine it would be a more protective suit. The bottom line is that you would need to try both on to see which works best for you. But with either of those two suits, or either of these two suits, you couldn't go wrong. They are the best on the market. In terms of money, the Rucker jacket comes in at 1050 the pants are 850 so it's not a cheap option, far from it. The Held comes in at 830 for the jacket, 640 for the pants, so the Held combo is certainly more affordable. Whether that means it's better value, that's a different question. Anyway, I hope you found that interesting. If you'd like to see more adventure jackets or more rucker gear, then visit the website motolegends.com. If you'd like to learn more about the Trek Eye in particular, then if you click on one of the links on the screen, sometimes they're up there, sometimes they're down there, that will take you to a dedicated page on the website. There you can check out the spec in a little bit more detail. You can check on availability, and obviously if you want to buy the suit, you can do that there and then. Now, when you buy from us, we try to make the process as simple, straightforward, and risk-free as we possibly can. There's no delivery charge on any item of protected wear that you buy from us. Returns are totally free, and what's more, we give you a full 12 months which decide whether you do want to return something to us. We have the best price promise in the business. Now, John Lewis was rightly famed for its never knownly undersold price promise, but we go one stage better. If you can find anyone selling anything that we sell at a price that is lower than ours, we will beat that competitor's price by a full 10%. Now, there are a few terms and conditions associated with the price beat. Nothing particularly onerous, but if you are going to attempt to price beat us, I suggest you go over to the website and check out what those terms and conditions are. If in the future you'd like to see bulletins from us about new products, then again, if you go to the website, top of every page, there's a piece of script that says newsletter sign up. Click on there, within seconds you'll be in business. If, however, you prefer to get your information videographically, that is to say in this form, we'd be simply delighted if you wanted to become a subscriber to our YouTube channel, and you can do that by clicking on the button below. I'd like to end with mention of our fabulous little shop here at Motor Legends. We're based about a mile from the centre of Guildford, a mile from the railway station, and as I've said, it's a small shop, it's got a small footprint, but it's attached to our, our warehouse where we have some £4 million worth of merchandise arranged over, over three floors. Technically, that makes us the second largest motorcycle apparel shop in the UK. But we'd like to think that we are far more than just the amount of merchandise we have here in the building. We're all about service. We're all about personal fitting. If you want to check us out, visit Trustpilot. We have the highest five-star ranking in the business. 
when you come to see us, we'll serve you only the finest Italian Illy coffee, or we'll serve you proper Yorkshire tea in a proper teapot. And if you're lucky, who knows, you might even get to sample one of our delicious motorcycle-shaped shortbread biscuits. Anyway, this has been Chris. I hope to talk to you again soon.